Hey guys, what's up? Firebird here, in with another crafting video, but now we're actually going to start a different series. So this one here is actually going to be part of the Carpenter series, so I'm going to be going from, well, level 0, technically, I guess, up through level 10 in this video. Now this one is not being streamed, this one is only up for upload. Um, might stream some of them later on for Carpenter, not quite sure yet, but let's get started. So first we're going to talk to Korg. If you're not quite sure where he's at, I'll actually show you here in just a minute. But he is in New Grandia, um, or New Grandia, Grandia, whatever it's called, one of the two. And it's actually just west of the Aetherite. So here we go. We are the Artesians who take wood and grant it a new form and purpose us the archer's bow, the lancer's spear, and the novice's shield. If carpentry holds any appeal, you should consider joining our guild. Might you be interested in learning the ways of wordworking? Hell yeah, we're interested in learning the ways of the wordworking. Come on. Not even a question. Wonderful. Wonderful. Now, before we proceed, I think it's only right that I acquaint you with our guild story past. Oh, no. Since the founding of Gridania. Okay, so it's Gridania. That's the name of it. We have built our homes and crafted our weapons from the trees of the Twelves Wood. As our nation grew and prospered, the woodworkers' repertoire expanded to encompass a great variety of articles, and carpentry developed into an art. At first, there was no association of carpenters. Each individual worked and sold his services independently. However, the advent of water mills meant that more efficient construction methods were needed, along with formalized maintenance regimes, all of which necessitated, necessitated organizations. The Carpenters Guild was founded to oversee the operation of water mills and promote cooperation between woodworkers. Now, I must mention at this point that we owe so much of our prosperity to the Great Loam Growery. Thanks to all the hard work and botanists, we are blessed with the finest lumber in all Eorzea. Well, let me tell you, I'm one of those hard work and botanists. I just hit 50 yesterday, so I'm feeling pretty great about that. This confluence of ideal circumstances allows us to provide all manner of goods and services to the people of Gridania. <laughs> My apologies. That was rather long. That was rather longer than I intended. Still, I trust you have gained a greater understanding of our guild. We expect your members to drink deep of the collected wisdom that the guild has amassed over the course of history, to tactically seek an understanding of wood, technically techniques required to work it, rather than simply waiting to be taught. So let me tell you, my character plans on drinking deep, but I don't think it's the wisdom he's going to be drinking. <coughs> we expect, in short, nothing less than the total commitment to the craft. If you wish to start down this path, speak to me once more. I shall explain to you the enrollment process. So I guess what gets me here is, why didn't he just explain it in that one? I know it's like this for all of the guilds, but it's always something that's been like, you've already gone through your spiel. May as well just do it. Would you like to learn more about the enrollment process? Hell yeah, that's what we're here for today. Korg wishes to reaffirm your desire to join the Carpenter's Guild. Nothing to reaffirm. I've already said yes. This is the third time. Wonderful. I should mention at this point the Timber Master beaten assesses. Okay. So I read that as Timber Master beaten asses. All would be apprentices personally, so you'll need to obtain his approval before you begin. Timber Master Beaten can be harsh and unforgiving man, but if you love the craft, he will and have the will to learn. You could ask for no better tutor. He is quite simply the finest carper in Gridania. One should hope he is. Of course, it'll take you some time, no small amount of effort to comprehend the full extent of his teachings, but you may rest assured that he will not lead you astray. That said, when you meet him, I will advise you to choose your words carefully and um, resist the urge to run away. So I'm going to tell you right now, I can tell everything this guy says is going to be a mouthful. I'm not reading it anymore. I'm just going to skip right through and get right to the levels because that's the main thing that I'm looking here for. I'm not looking to get the story of the woodworking guild and, you know, or crap. Carpenter guild? I guess some people might be here for that. So just want to let you know now, I'm not going to keep reading this anymore. Yes, devote myself to carpentry. I say that, but 
not going to be doing it every day. <coughs> that there is a promise. Alright, there we go. Here's our crap. So, they picked a bad way to list that. Holy cow. Come on. Got a nice set of gear here, mostly, well, not really mostly broken. Eh, it's gonna break. <laughs> so before I get started, I am actually going to give this a good old repair. the repair person is upstairs or downstairs here but we gonna learn today <coughs> okay independent arms mentor ba boom Okay, so the first thing I gotta do here is deliver a length of maple lumber to Beaton. So that there should actually be pretty simple. I know they tend to make these quests pretty easy near the beginning. So let's see here. Guild supplier, so we need maple. So what do I need for maple lumber? Three maple logs. And if you're wondering why I'm not harvesting that stuff myself, well, it's it's just easier doing it this way, to be honest. <coughs> I'm not going to harvest until I need to, and I'm not going to need to harvest until I can't buy anything in here anymore. That's what I'm talking about. <coughs> okay, so now the goal here is to get to level 5, so I need to make square maple shields. I found that the easiest way to get to level 5 is just making, well, not really just level 5, but <laughs> to the next tier if you're doing it based on just grinding an item being crafted is to make the same thing over and over that's the highest level so in this case here I'm actually going to make hmm, I'm gonna make the square maple shield so to do that I'm gonna need two bronze rivets and one maple lumber so I'm thinking probably 10 is what I'm gonna need so I'm gonna get 30 maple logs and 20 bronze rivets be able to make the bronze rivets. Hmm. Okay, so bronze rivets might actually come from armor crafting or something. Oh well, I'll just buy them. So let's craft these bad boys. Oh, pfft. I only needed 10 of these. No? Wait, I bought 60? Huh. <coughs> well, I only need 10. So I'm just gonna quick synth 10 of these here. Well, actually, no, I'll just make them faster that way. Man, this game can be stupid sometimes. Like that.
Alright, so far so good. Level one up quick, but I mean, I mean level three. Okay, so maybe it's not actually going to take 10 like I thought it would, but you know what? I'll have extra parts, I guess. Because chances are I'm going to need them again for a later craft. Okay. Yeah, so you can I can make lovely stuff, but we're just going to make these here. Synthesize the poop out of it. This here is probably actually going to put me over to five. Ba bang Okay. So now we're going to go for level 10. So let's see, I can make a ram horn har- Bleh. Ow. Ram horn harpoon. So, actually I might just be better off making a bunch of lumber. Hmm. I don't know. I can sell that for nine gil. Sell that for one gil. So, eight gil difference there. But I guess what we really need to find out is how much is it going to cost to make one of these. So each ash. <coughs> All right. So each ash log. It takes twelve. Or it costs twelve. I don't want to buy it yet. I need three to make one lumber. So 36 makes one of these. These I can sell back for one gill. So 36 plus. How much is a ram horn? Thirty-six plus twenty-three. Fifty-nine. Yeah, I'm better off just making a bunch of lumber. Holy crap. So for this one here, let's do... 60 ash logs. Though I may not need that many. It's enough to do the craft 20 times. And maybe I'll make a... Makahuil, or whatever it's called. Let's just see if there's anything else I can equip here. Yep. And actually, I may as well just do this quest from a qualm rank or two. Especially because it's going to be the only thing I can Oh, wow. Okay. So the good news is we already have what we need, so I'm just going to quick synth one here. <coughs> there we go. Oh, that was easy. Bam. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
So now I can actually start working towards high quality. Now it's probably not worth it right here to be honest, but you know what, let's work around a little bit here. Um, not going to do it very often though, but I do get extra XP out of that. See, look at that. 1059 just for that part, so making four of these. If you just do one with that, that's enough to leave. I mean, if I were to do that four times, it's going to push me right on over. So that's 982. But let's just, let's just quick some fees for time's sake here. Heck yeah, buddies. And remember, you don't have to do things the way I'm doing it. Um... But if, you, if you're looking for a guide on how to hit, get all the way up there, this is definitely something you can do. As you've seen, it's a cheap way to level up. Obviously cheap if you harvest your own stuff. But, I mean, as far as gill goes, I know I only have 37,000, but that's because I was also working on a lot of cooking and buying stuff, and you know the drill. It was A lot of it was going to armor. But like I said, don't have to follow this, but it's it'll definitely show you what I'm doing to level up. It's experimental for me too, obviously. I'm not running any guides on this a carpenter right now, so everything's just kind of what I've learned about crafting over time. So you can either take that, make it better, do what you want to do, or you can just do the exact same thing I'm doing. So we only got three more left. So chances are what I'm going to do is I'm also going to buy a ram horn and I'm going to buy the... I think it's an obsidian. I have to look at the name of the item. <coughs> that way I can get the craft bonus on both. That'll push me to 10. And then we'll go ahead and knock out that level 10 quest we got over here. So I need a, yep, one obsidian, and then one ram horn, and that should actually push me over. I always talk to the wrong people. There we go, one ram horn, or, well, obsidian, and then one ram horn. So, basic touch for those of you who have never crafted before. So you have basic synthesis, which is essentially getting your progress up. Now in order to get a better chance of actually getting your quality up, you need to use basic touch. So the success rate on this is 70%, and you'll get better ones as you go. But each time you do anything, your durability goes down. And that's where this fancy little piece comes in right here. So this is going to restore item durability by 30, but it costs 92. It's expensive. So now I'm back up to 40, and I can keep on working. And in case you don't know what the difference is between high quality and a low, and the standard quality, the high quality does have better stats on it. So now I'm level 9, I'm almost level 10, I actually thought that was going to take me to 10, but I'm going to buy, f uh, let's do 4 obsidian, I think that'll put me over 4 or 5, let's do 5 just to be safe. <coughs> let's just quick sneak these bad boys.
not really getting much XP off of them, so. Yeah, there's no way this is going to push me over to 10 right here. Which, if I remember, this is actually the same amount of XP we are getting for Log, so. But once I hit level 10, it's going to level out of using the Ash stuff anyway, so no point really getting that. Um, let's buy Ram Horns, let's get five of those. Because I feel like that might have been a little bit better XP. Remember, this is a great way to make money also. Like, obviously the lower levels are not going to work very well. But once you've gone to your higher levels, it's not going to be too difficult really to get there. And believe me, leveling crafting is actually a lot faster than it seems. I know right now you're probably not seeing <laughs> much of a difference right now, um, but trust me, it gets more difficult, but not overly difficult. So I need to make one more of them. So let's, let's just do obsidian, because obsidian's a lot cheaper. Now something tells me, which I don't know for sure, but something tells me that his quest right here is probably to make one of those items I just had. Yep, Ash Lumber. I've already made Ash Lumber, so... Stop talking. So I need to make six more. Which means I need 18 Ash Logs. They might actually let me one shot grab these. Nope. That's open. Alright, three more to go. Just kidding, that's two. Heck yeah, going with the grain amateur unlocked. Okay, there we go. So quest is now done. So that is <coughs> level 1 to level 10 carpenter. So it doesn't take too long. It's pretty simple to do. Just remember, what you want to do is you want to come to New Gridania. And just right here where I'm at. So it's not too far from the stone. And just to show you, give you an idea of it. <coughs> you can actually see it right there. So when you first get here, you're going to teleport in. You're going to end up in this Aetherite, or even if you're a new character, you're going to be right here by the Aetherite. You just want to turn, and you just want to run west, southwest, a little bit, bring you right to the Carpenter's Guild. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions, don't feel free to go ahead and put it right in the comments. We'll answer any questions you have. 
And that's not only about Carpenter, but anything really. If I have the answer, I'll give it to you. If I don't, I'll see what I can get for an answer for you. That way we can get you taken care of. Alright, thanks for watching the video and have a good night.